Chen chooses a prime number, he multiplies it by 10 and then rounds it to the nearest 100 and his answer is 400. Write all the possible prime numbers he could have chosen. So, we need to get a result here of 400 when we round it to the nearest 100. So we need to decide what numbers would round to 400. Well, we're looking for numbers that lie between 350. Anything bigger than 350 is going to round up to 400 all the way up to 450. Now, 450 would round up to 500, so we're looking for numbers between this. So it's got to be more than 350, less than 450. It's got to lie within these numbers. So it says he multiplies it by 10 and then rounds it to the nearest 100. So we need to work backwards to find the number. So we're going to divide by 10. So if we divide by 10, we've got 35 and 45. So we know that our prime number needs to lie between 35 and 45. So what we could do is just write out a list of numbers. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 and 45. And then we're going to choose from this which ones are our prime numbers. So 35 is in the 5 times table, we can knock that out. 36 is an even number. We can knock out all the even numbers because the only even prime is 2. So any other even numbers are not going to be primes. So we can knock out all the even numbers. And 45 is also in the 5 times table. So we're left with um, 37, 39, 41 and 43. And we just need to double check that these are prime. Well, if we look here, actually 39 is in fact in the 3 times table. So we can cross that off. So we're left here with... 37, 41, and 43 are our prime numbers. So these are the numbers here that he could have chosen. And if we double check that, 37 times 10 is 370, so that does round to 400. 41 times 10 is 410, that also rounds to 400. 400 uh, sorry, 43 times 10 is 430, that also rounds to 400. So we've got all our answers here.